Hi there, I'm Barb Shelton and I am the lifeologist behind the Let's Do This videos. And today I have a very fun little project, definitely little and definitely fun. It is cow seeds. Now this might be normally called a gag gift, but I think it's just plain cute and fun and funny. These days we can probably use a few more giggles. You can even include one of these in a card that you give. Obviously not one that you would put in the mail because uh, they're a little too thick and chunky for that. So I have a topper for you, which is in a free printable. And then I also wanna show you how to make the seeds, but I wanna start with what's on the topper. So we have a front and it just says cow seeds, cow herd starter kit. And then on the back, it says, to prepare for your herd, find a plot of land large enough for five cows and build a fence around it. Two, dig five small holes in this pattern, about 10 feet apart, one seed per hole. Cover with dirt. Be sure to plant them right side up or your cows are going to grow upside down. And then three, water with milk as needed. Skim milk will produce thin cows, 4% will produce nice fat cows. Now this is optional, but you might wanna mix one tablespoon of cocoa powder into the dirt if you want your cow to produce chocolate milk. Obviously this is all tongue in cheek, but it is just fun and I just think these are so cute. In my first version that I did, I used navy beans and they are extremely difficult to draw on no matter what you use. They're just so tiny and round and your fingers keep touching the wet paint that you just drew. And so I went to lima beans. Now the two things you want with your lima beans, I've got a bag of them right here, is you can see they come in all different sizes in there. Pick out the biggest ones. But then you also wanna pick out the smoothest ones because like with this one, it was the very first one I did and I didn't realize they were different sizes till I looked more closely. But if you can see there, it's got lumps on it and it was really difficult to do those smoothly. So just look for smooth ones and large ones. So then you just take your little pen. Um, I use these right here. It's a set of 30 acrylic paint pens. You can also use a Sharpie. It's not quite as vivid, but it works just fine. So you wanna hold it down somehow because obviously it's round and it's gonna flip all over the place, but you just hold it down and just start drawing little spots, okay? The trick is I need to be able to hold it while I go to another area, okay? Now I would suggest too that you keep rotating because we tend to kind of have a slant to our drawing and uh, if you keep moving it, then you're gonna avoid that little slant. Okay. So um, I've got that side done. Now I'm gonna to need to let that side dry before I do the other side. So like this one I did earlier and so it's ready to do the other side. So what I'm gonna do then is take my little baggie here, got my little tiny baggie, and I'm gonna put in five little seeds, five little cow seeds, and close it up. And then I'm gonna take one of my toppers and I see here that it's just a little bit wider on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice it down a little bit and fold it in half and then this is not going to go all the way up inside it as i have shown in other videos so you're just going to go down as far as you can and because you're not going all the way to the top it will shift unless you do two so i'm going to do two staples all right and there's my cow seeds so the other guys that are tinier bigger, doesn't even matter. They are all just absolutely darling and are sure to bring a little chuckle into somebody's day. So have fun with this and thank you for watching.